This is a review for the Shark Ion P50. The P50's airflow was measured at 32 CFM. Its suction was measured at 78 inches of water lift. The P50 easily passed our filtration and sealing test, largely because of its HEPA post-motor filter. Moving on to carpet cleaning performance, we first have to talk about the P50's Duo Clean cleaner head. The Duo Clean head has two brush rolls, a standard brush roll for agitating carpet and a soft roller for picking up large debris. Because of this design, the Ion P50 picked up large debris on carpet very well, better than most other cordless vacuums we tested. However, it did have some trouble with medium-sized and fine debris, more so than many other cordless vacuums we tested. None of the cordless vacuums we tested, including the P50, had any trouble picking up pet hair or human hair in separate tests. The longer hair will eventually tangle on the vacuum's brush roll, and when it does, you can just pull it off or cut it off, just like you would on any regular vacuum. It is of note here that you cannot remove the carpet agitator brush roll from the P50. You can only remove the soft roller from this particular vacuum, while you can remove the single brush roll from most other cordless vacuums very easily. Moving on to deep cleaning performance, the P50 picked up only 12 grams of debris after being pushed back and forth three times over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris. And that's with boost mode activated, a mode that requires you to hold the button down to keep that mode activated. As soon as you release the boost mode button, the vacuum reverts back to its original regular cleaning mode. And on that regular cleaning mode, it picked up only nine grams of debris in the same test. Next, we have hard floor performance. And when it comes to visible surface level debris, the Ion P50 is a well above average performer in the category because of its Duo Clean cleaner head. The Duo Clean cleaner head is very well optimized for cleaning surface level debris on hard floors. And it showed in our hard floor stress test. On the flip side of things, we have its performance in our crevice test. The crevice test shows how well the vacuum is able to pull up debris from a groove or crevice and really pull up difficult to pull up debris from any hard surface in general. And the Ion P50 struggled in this test. It couldn't pull up all of the debris from our test crevice, even with considerable effort. Moving on to battery life and performance, the Ion P50 was tested to have longer runtime on high than all but one other cordless vacuum that we tested. The P50 was tested to run for 23 and a half minutes on high or boost mode. So far, so good, but there are two problems. First of all, even on high or boost mode, the P50 only gets you half the deep clean performance of top tier cordless vacuums that we tested in the same deep cleaning performance test. Second, you actually have to hold the boost mode button down to keep that boost mode activated. It's highly unlikely that you'll keep that button down during regular cleaning as it's quite uncomfortable to do so, which means that you'll be dropping down to even worse deep cleaning performance during regular use with the P50. The bottom line is that the P50 offers good battery life, but unfortunately that battery life is all for naught when you consider the vacuum's poor deep cleaning performance. And so the P50 actually offers a below average combination of battery life and performance. Next we have ease of use. The P50 is not a light cordless vacuum. It weighs 12.2 pounds. It is light in the hand though, since most of its weight is distributed towards the bottom of the vacuum. The issue is that you're constantly pushing a lot of weight around near the bottom of the vacuum. This reduces the vacuum's handling ability compared to lighter options. That is unless you use it in lift away mode, though you have to carry around part of the vacuum, which means that you have to use two hands instead of one to vacuum in lift away mode. The high weight near the bottom of the P50 is due to its bulky duo clean cleaner head. And when not in lift away mode, a lift away main body that contains a dustbin, the motor for the vacuum, two filters, and a very heavy battery pack. The lift away feature is intended to be one of the primary selling points for the vacuum, as it allows you to extend the wand and cleaner head or attached tool away from the main body. This in turn allows you to better vacuum underneath furniture or reach up to higher surfaces when using the P50 as a handheld vacuum. The problem with these apparent advantages is that they already exist with other cordless vacuums in a much more compact form and without requiring the extra step of removing the main body away from the vacuum. The P50 in lift away mode can get as low as seven inches above ground level. Dyson's can get as low as five inches above ground level without needing to take anything apart. The P50 handle with a tool attached in lift away mode is light but Dyson's, Tenco's, and competitors by other brands are also very light with only a tool attached for use in handled mode to reach higher surfaces. 
The bottom line is that the lift away feature may very well have been a great feature to have back when vacuums had to be larger in size with super heavy bodies and larger cleaner heads, but it's really not a useful feature to have when modern cordless vacuums are already very light and compact as a complete package. One definite positive of the vacuum's lift away feature is that the whole design does allow for a bigger dustbin. The P50 has a bin with a maximum measured capacity of 600 milliliters. Competitors tend to have much smaller bins. Another positive for this design is that the weight distribution allows the vacuum to stand up on its own. Most other cordless vacuums, including all the Dysons we tested, do not stand up on their own. Turning the P50 on and setting it to different modes is easy enough. Buttons are easy to reach. Although having to hold down the boost mode button to keep boost mode activated is an issue, as we talked about earlier. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. We do like the fact that this vacuum passed our filtration and sealing test as it does come equipped with a HEPA post motor filter. Its carpet and hard floor performance, at least at the visible surface level, is good. Its battery life is outstanding, not to mention the fact that it also comes with a swappable battery. We also really like the fact that it comes with a large dustbin and that it stands up on its own. Moving on to what we dislike about the P50, its deep cleaning performance is well below average for a cordless vacuum at this price point. Thus, it offers a poor combination of battery life and performance despite its outstanding battery life. The vacuum is also heavy and it's less easy to use and less versatile than its lift away design might suggest. In terms of general recommendations, we generally do not recommend the P50 if only because there are better options available at its price point. Those better options offer better raw performance, namely CFM and suction. They also offer better carpet and hard floor performance overall as they offer much better deep cleaning performance. They also tend to be much lighter, more compact, and generally easier to use than the P50. We do test new models all the time, so see the description of this video for all of our latest model specific recommendations, and thank you for watching.